And hello again, YouTube. It is Sunday, June 19th, 2022, uh, 6.25 p.m. It's uh, Father's Day, also Juneteenth. Seems kind of odd to me that those are landing on the uh, same day, but I guess that's, that's a thing now. Um, anyway. Anyway, still haven't got my SIM card working in my iPhone. Um, I, I did, as I mentioned, um, yesterday morning, I left a note on, uh, on um, Jeff, AKA, aka Cell Phone Jesus's door, and I got a text message back from him, which was great, and then I realized I actually had his number saved in both of my phones, so I was thinking I didn't have his number. I. I I've actually, you know, not as starved for contacts as I, as I, like, I feel like I've got no contacts, but the reality is I'm just not getting messages from anybody, um, except on Snapchat, of course. Snapchat, I, you know, I, I really warmed up to it as a messaging app, just because, um, although granted, you know, only a small portion of the people I know use it, um, it moves from number to number to number to device to device. Like I can log in on Snapchat on a device that doesn't have any service as long as I got Wi-Fi. So um, that, that's that's nice. You know, moving my number from device to device to device has been so problematic for me, especially within the last year. So um, so yeah, I wish, uh, wish everybody who kept in touch with me would actually actively do that. Via, via Snapchat, but anyway, um, wow, so I'm, I'm sitting at Carl's Jr., and I just went through the drive-thru and ordered a couple of burgers, and hopefully they get those to me in time that I'm not late to work, because I'm on my way to Amazon, um, and, and yeah, the guy in the drive-thru asked me to pull forward and park, I'm thinking he just told the guy in the red truck the same thing, which kind of bothers me that the guy in the truck thinks that's a parking spot. But anyway, there's uh, you now some people when they drive think the entire everybody must yield them the right away and give them space. So here's what it is. Or the dad in your life, you can tap that track on the Alt ACF every single time. Yeah, didn't give my dad nothing. To win Dad's Day Out, which includes Haven't heard from him in probably over two years, so not uh, not getting anything from Dad. I should really. Send at least a text message to my stepdad, though. Um, anyway, where was I? Uh, Father's Day, Juneteenth. Uh, so my, both of my last two videos got cut off because I ran out of space. But as I had stated, I was on my way to check out um, a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon. Sunday afternoon karaoke at... Uh, at Oz and had an absolute blast there. Hey, here comes my food. Nice. Thank you. Anyway, um, yay burgers. Um, I really wish there were more Carl's Juniors around. I, I really like their burgers, and, and they've got they've got a it's called the Cal, I think it's called the California Classic, which um, is kind of comparable to a Big Mac, but notably better because the burger itself, the burgers themselves, the patties are actually better. Um, anyway, those are. Uh, I'm not sure if they're on sale or if it's just like their low price on it or it's like kind of a lost leader, but a pretty decent sized burger for three bucks. And uh, yeah, two, two of those and uh, fills me up nicely. All right, I am doing this again. <laughs> Seems like I did this on Friday too. Like turned directly into the sun and got blinded and then had to try to figure out how to get my sun visor around my phone now. So they kind of hit each other. Uh, yeah, that was awkward. Oh well, I guess I can look forward to this pretty much all summer. 
Um, yeah, I much I much like this schedule better in the winter time where it was after dark, just shortly after dark as I was heading to work and. And the sun was just barely on the horizon as I was getting home uh, after taking the bus home. And, uh, I miss getting to have a little bit of dark. You know, at this point, it's like I'm going into the glaring sun on my way to work, but it's still bright out. And pretty much the same thing in reverse. After I get off, I get to enjoy any darkness at all. Wow. Quite the little homeless encampment. Homeless panhandle or begging encampment there on the right. Three. Three shopping carts and a sign that says, please help us. Yeah. No thanks. Um, anyway, so as I was saying, uh, karaoke at Oz, had a blast. Couldn't remember what time it started at. Uh, I ended up getting there about 2 o'clock. and was surprised to walk into a bar full of people playing bingo. I was like, okay, that's interesting. Um... Which is fine, you know, the karaoke started at 3, so I got plenty of time to sing, especially since not, uh, most of the singers in, most people didn't really start singing until well after 4, so I got quite a few singers in at the beginning. Oh, I love this song. It seems weird to me hearing this on the mainstream pop station, since uh, AJR was kind of my thing long before they were really getting any radio airplay. I mean, I guess I can't really say that. I, I first heard AJR on uh, on the alternative station, uh, 93.3 Alt AZ, but, but uh, got this album set at home on vinyl, by the way. The uh, yellow vinyl indie record store exclusive edition, which is pretty cool. Uh, speaking of, of vinyl and turntables, uh, yeah, Priscilla still got too much of a mess in the living room to me for me to enjoy my living room turntable. That guy's crossing against the light. What a brave soul he is. <laughs> With a panhandler sign. Gotta love this side of town. Um, um, bedroom turntable, I've... Mostly got a path cleared away to it. You know, baby steps getting stuff done. And you know, I could have got a whole lot more done last night <laughs> instead of doing, you know, going walking for an hour and venting about where the fuck is my girlfriend staying the night at. And, and then when I finally got home, I was just so bummed out about that situation. I was just, you know, kind of laid in bed and, and played with my phones. Just couldn't, you know, get the couldn't quite get the motivation to work on cleaning and uh, stuff. Trying to be more optimistic. I'm trying to... It, it, it's feeling at this point like this whole relationship's just irreparable. And, and that bumps me out. It does. But... Um, I mean... I don't know. You know, we didn't use much. I, honestly, it was more of a more of a discussion than an argument when she finally wandered home at like 12:30 in the afternoon today. Um, I, I, I'm not even sure why I got. Actually, you know, I think I did get up just to see if she had come home and was like already in the living room, and I just hadn't noticed that she, you know hadn't heard her come in. Because, uh, I mean, I, you know, I'm like falling in and out of sleep. I'd be awake and then doze off, I'd be awake, doze off. And so, you know, very possible that she could have. I yeah, don't climb on my ass. I'm trying to turn. I just love when I'm trying to, like, merge lanes and I'm matching the pace of the vehicle in front of me, but the vehicle coming up from behind is just rapidly advancing. Like, where, where are you going, dude? That's all right. I'm always happy to slow down a whole lot for uh, overly eager drivers like that. It's that hard to change lanes. What an ass. Anyway, moving right along. Um, the. Uh, I just had that moment where I'm like, what what radio station is it on? And they do that 20 
I think it was on 93.3. For some reason, I was thinking it was still on 101.5. Anyway, I know. Such important shit, right? But, uh... You know, I wish this display would show me the frequency it's on and the time. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, I mean, I'm just kind of curious about this song. I don't really know what it is, but I've heard it a few times and I like it. Um, you know what? I'm sure I'll probably get it. I've stopped speaking enough. I'll probably get some content matches on it. Uh, although it used to be when I would look at like a description of my video underneath what I've heard I put in for the video description, there would be, if there were content matches, it would show the copyright information for the song and what it was. Now, I haven't been seeing that on YouTube anymore. I don't know if they've got rid of that or what. Sometimes that actually helped me find out what certain songs were. I mean, granted, I, I could... I could... Uh, I, I do have, I do have, uh, what do you call it, um, Shazam on my iPhone. I could always Shazam it to find it how long it is, but, um, yeah, I still don't have service on the iPhone. And granted, I can hotspot to it from my Obama phone, which is the whole point of having an Obama phone, but it's been so long since I've done that, I, I don't even remember offhand how to turn my hotspot on, so... And yeah, it's something I should have maybe done while I was in the bar waiting to sing. But, but I did make the most of the time I had there. I uh, actually went through some older older videos of mine that were taking up space on my uh, micro SD card. As I said, I was going to. And got those descriptions and even the uh, video titles like more fleshed out with the time and stuff in them. And granted, these are older videos, so they're not getting too many more views than what they got, you know, in their initial, like, 48 hours after I posted them. But, yeah, it's, uh, you know, for me, this is kind of like a diary project more than anything. So, and the first one I've ever, like, successfully kept going, so I, I do feel good about that. Um, it's, uh, yeah, so I, that freed up quite a bit of space, so... Hopefully, over the next you know week or two, I won't have nearly as many um, for Gwen Stefani. Let's throw that out there. Not trying to hate, but it doesn't really do it for me anymore. This isn't the clearest signal on the on the on the radio, but it's always a little staticky, fades out a little bit. But 88.7, uh, even school station. Love that. Playing Talking Heads, Wild Wild Life. How cool is that? 887. The Pulse. Thinking this is Counting Blue Cars by uh, Swallow. I think it is. I'm usually pretty good at the whole identify a song in the first like 10 seconds of its instrumental. But... Yes, it is. Late afternoon. It's definitely their most played out song, but to be fair, I don't hear it that much anymore, so. I'll, I'll take it. Okay, I am passing a semi on the right. Yeah, I did move on my part. I got all sidetracked by my radio. Uh, uh, oh yeah, Priscilla. So, you know, at 12.30 I got up and I just, you know, did not sleep well and hopefully I don't get too fatigued tonight. I feel pretty awake and alert at the moment. But, anyway, um, went to, um, I got up just to kind of see, and I woke up, and I went up to see, got up to see if maybe she kind of stuck in while I was asleep, and just knocked out on the, on the couch, and basically I walked, she'd already come through the kitchen door, through the back door, oh, this guy's zooming past me, all right, yeah, you, you're, you're cool, I hate people who do that, um, 
up so he can tailgate that motorcycle. Badass. Um, anyway, um, so, um, sorry, it just occurred to me I should probably get over a couple of lanes. Since I am wanting to drive a little faster than this guy, and these lanes are about to split off to the 202 South. So, um, all right, a little four banger engine can only accelerate so fast. Um, yeah, the um, I do miss my first Saturn. I think it had pretty much the same size engine in it, but with its five speed, I could always downshift and accelerate quickly if I wanted to. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I, I walked in and uh. I hadn't heard her coming in, but apparently she she she'd, she'd already come through the kitchen and she was in the hallway, like coming from the kitchen. I'm not sure where she was going. I think I startled her. She certainly startled me. I didn't expect her to be there. And she's like, "Oh, she's like, well, happy Father's Day." I'm like, "Oh, really?" Like, disrespect me on that level and be out all night with whoever you stay the night with sleeping with now but at the audacity to just so randomly show up at 12 30 in the afternoon after and wish me happy father's day and it's one thing most fathers want on father's day after you know above um above contact from their kids and maybe gifts from their kids and, and that's that's to, you know, get, get a, a little of the action that made them fathers. Now, granted, that's not happening from uh, either of my baby mamas, uh, because Elise is, God knows where she is. I don't even know where she is. Her and Lily have disappeared somewhere. And, um, yeah, Danielle's remnants are uh, in an urn somewhere. So. And I've been oddly finding myself missing her, which is just insanity, but I don't know, you know, when I said I do, I had kind of resigned to not having as hot of a wife as I would hope I would have, and going old with her, and, uh, and one thing I, I can't take away from Daniela when we were together, the sex was always amazing, even when she had put on weight, so, uh, yeah, definitely miss that. Anyway, so, so yeah, Priscilla and I didn't as much have an argument as it was more of a civil conversation, but, uh, but yeah, I was just, you know, where you, you know, where you just semantics on whether, you know, she slept with somebody or stayed, the, stayed up all night, you know, whatever, and I'm just, it's like, well, I'm leaving, well, where are you going? So I'm not sure yet, I'm not there, I said, but, uh, I don't feel like, you know, being here and being taunted and teased by you. She's like, oh yeah, you already explained that. I'm like, yep. So. She's like, well, I'll go somewhere else. I'm like, no, you said you were going to do, you said you were going to do some cleaning and it really needs done. I'm hoping if I leave, you'll actually do it as opposed to, you know, disappearing and barobbing or staying the night with whoever it is you stay the night with. And, uh, wow, I overshot 75th Avenue. Not sure how I did that. Or what the hell's going on here? Looks like it's just there for a flat tire. I wonder why that necessitates a uh, fire truck. That was kind of exciting. Oh, now I'm having, wow, people parked in the Gore area. That's not a good or safe place to park. Um, now I'm having one of those moments, especially since it's Sunday and it's not restricted to carpool. Not that it would be at you know, 6.43 p.m. Actually, it would be at 6.43 p.m. in weekdays. Anyway, wishing 79th Avenue, still wishing 79th Avenue went through to the north. Because that would sure be the nicest way for me to go to work on this freeway. And now that I'm driving again, maybe I should, you know, write write those letters to A dot to the city of Phoenix and ask them, hey, can you, you know, please finish that road? 
Now, once upon a time, it used to be kind of active with going to the uh, city of Phoenix, uh, the city council um, um, uh, planning, uh, city planning meetings, and maybe I should get, you know, and granted, when I did that, it was mostly about um, um, scooter share implementing, um, you know, scooter rental, uh, and rental scooter implementing, but... I think it'd still be kind of cool to go to those again. I really did enjoy going to those and hearing all the stuff being proposed and whatnot. And um, I'm really curious if a citizen can make a proposal. I, I think anybody can. Maybe I can be the be the one that makes the change and makes the proposal to uh, finish that finish that overpass and connect it to 79th Avenue to the north. Anyway, um, sorry, I can't focus on one topic ever. That's just me. Um, so, you know, back to Priscilla. Um, yeah, she had, you know, she's like, well, I'll leave. I'm like, no, no, I'm hoping you actually do the cleaning you said you were going to do. Uh, she's done a tiny, tiny amount of cleaning, but for the most part, you know, I mean, she said she was going to do cleaning yesterday, and that's why she couldn't. Oh, I can't, I, I can't, I can't have sex with you because I don't feel good and I need to work on these. I need to prioritize and I said I'm going to do these cleaning things. I'm like, well, okay. So I left and ran errands because I didn't really feel like being taunted by the whole look what you can't touch situation with her. And um, after having years of unfettered touching access um, in, 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 Uh, anyway, um, and yeah, when I got home, she's all passed out on the couch and she slept for hours on the couch. So yeah, this is your, this is how actively you're working. Once I'm not here to see you working, you're just sleeping on the couch. And then when she did get up, I didn't really see her do much in the way of cleaning. She just mostly, uh, now granted most of that time I was asleep. So I just got up, you know, occasionally to, to, uh, something to drink or whatever but for the most part it seemed like what she did was um, just sit on the couch and watch Netflix and do other shit on her laptop while she um, while she um, farted around on her smartphone messaging God knows whoever she messaged and scroll through social media and scroll through social media so yeah, I guess if you, if that constitutes you know cleaning up your mess and in, in apartment then you know you go girl whatever but oh wow somebody driving out here in a smart <laughs> I don't know to me those cars are anything but I thought those were kind of neat when I first saw them I'm, I'm a fan of smaller economical cars but then when I looked at the little standard um, sheet that comes on new vehicles it shows you what they're Estimated, you know, city mileage and highway mileage. I looked at that and I'm like, wow. I at the time I was driving my 91, or sorry, yeah, 91 Honda CRX SI, which is, you know, and which is definitely a, a, a sports car. It's very much a sports car, and it's a fast, you know, zippy, badass little car. And when I looked at that, and I'm like, whoa, this little tiny shit box. It doesn't have enough room for anything in it. gets worse mileage than my CRX does. That's that's not smart. The smart is not smart. Um, I'd probably feel a whole lot differently about them if they got, you know, 55, 60 miles to the gallon, but they, they don't. Uh, anyway, what time? 6.48? Uh, debating where I want to park. This aisle. So I need to wrap this up because I've been home and I want to, or I'm sorry, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at work and uh, I do want to have enough time to eat my burgers while they're still warm. They're best that way. Uh, but uh, anyway, see, I left. I, had, I did have a great time at, uh, at Oz. Uh, the extra hour I got there earlier, I worked on... Uh, I mentioned that I worked on clearance on my vlogs and then while I was there, since I don't really you know, know anybody there... And, um, I'm not trying to do that kind of hookup because it's that kind of bar. Um, I, um, I am caught up on my online banking, which I've got, you know, numerous bank cards and uh, bank accounts. So that was something that really needed to get done. So I feel really good about that. 
Um, I'm going to get pummeled with uh, notably less interest this month, so feeling good about that. Um, anyway, got to wrap this up. Uh, but uh, thanks for coming with me on the ride. Sorry my rambling is so incoherent, inco moving from topic to topic, but I just have a lot on my mind trying to get it out. And uh, this really does help me clear my head. I'm not sure why anybody else watches it, but it does help me clear my head. Anyway, as I was saying, thanks for watching.